Hi guys, Demon Ferret of Demon Ferret Studios here. And yes, I have... Okay. Hi guys, Demon Ferret of Demon Ferret Studios here. And yes, I have no arms or hands. Or at least, they're human. There's a reason for this, though. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating one of the newest personal projects that have come out of the workspace. That is this. On the outside, it may look like your typical harness, but it is not. It's actually a harness specifically for me, for practicality. And before anyone asks, no. I will not be offering these for commission. Rather, this is to display the flexibility of my craft and what I can do. So what is this harness for? For holding up giant five foot tails, of course. Now this harness won't work for everyone. It works for me specifically because of the design of my character. So let me show you how it works. First of all, we have a interesting design here where it's mostly an X-shaped harness, but there's no band that continues in the back. And the reason why is because of the size of my tails. Both of them have a fairly large base, and if I had this strap continue all the way to the back, it wouldn't work. It would interfere with the tail, bend and shift, and this harness needs support. It can't be bending and shifting. So, we have the X harness for the main support, and then we have the belt down here. And this is where the magic happens. First I need to grab my tail. This is my floor dragger. It's five feet long. And over here, I have a thing. This is why I'm not wearing hands. And there we go. Because of the spear shape of my tail, it can sit in this little holster and I can go about my day without a tail in my face or in people's faces as they fall to the floor after tripping over my tail. It's pretty nifty. And then, fairly easy release, but not the easiest because you want to make sure you know where your floor dragger is going. I also want to demonstrate that this also works for my articulated tail from Dragon Soup. I apologize for how scruffy I'm probably at this point, but I don't have an assistant to keep me looking nice. So, there we go, everything's on. Now I just need to do the hard part, grabbing it. Wasn't so bad this time. There we go. As you see, it's a little bit harder with the articulated tail, and that's mostly because the articulated tail is wider, so it takes a little bit more effort to get in there. However, having an assistant or a handler do it would help greatly. But as you can see, it is firmly where it's supposed to be, and thus not pulling down sides. Totally didn't do that. So yeah, I just wanted to show off this harness. I put this harness together myself and like I said I will not be offering commissions for these. Just because I can do one for myself doesn't mean I know how to do it for other people. I just mostly did this kind of blind just 
putting things on and taking them off of myself, making sure that everything fit right. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys later with whatever comes out of here next. Bye guys.